Have you ever wondered why the universe is predominantly black and not white or any other color? This is a question that tickles the curious minds of many, not just the astronomers and scientists. The universe, as we perceive it, is often pictured as a vast black canvas, sprinkled with glittering stars, nebulae, and galaxies. But why black? Why not white, blue, or even a vibrant shade of orange? The color of the universe is not merely a question of aesthetics, but it's tied to our understanding of the cosmos. This blackness we perceive is largely due to the vast expanses of empty space that dominate the universe. But it's not just about emptiness. The role of light and how our eyes perceive color also plays a significant part in shaping our cosmic view. So join us as we delve into the fascinating world of cosmic colors and unravel the mysteries of the universe. The color of the universe isn't as simple as it might seem. To comprehend the color of the cosmos, we must first understand a key concept in astrophysics. Cosmic microwave background radiation, also known as CMBR. These are residual thermal radiations left over from the Big Bang, which occurred nearly 13.8 billion years ago. This background radiation permeates all of space and provides us with vital clues about the universe's early stages. The CMBR isn't visible to the naked eye. But with specialized telescopes, scientists can detect this radiation as a faint glow that appears uniform across the universe. This glow is often represented as a color map, with different colors indicating slight variations in temperature and, correspondingly, the density of matter. These variations are crucial as they led to the formation of galaxies and large-scale structures in the universe. Now, let's dive into the intriguing concept of Cosmic Latte. In the early 2000s, a team of astronomers at Johns Hopkins University set out to determine the average color of the universe. They analyzed light from over 200,000 galaxies and combined them into a single spectrum. This spectrum represented the collective light output of the universe, which they then translated into a color visible to the human eye. The result? A slightly beige white color, whimsically named Cosmic Latte. The color is not static, though. As the universe ages and evolves, the color changes too. In its infancy, the universe would have been a hot, dense plasma glowing white-hot. As it expanded and cooled, the color shifted towards red and eventually, after the formation of stars and galaxies, we arrive at the present cosmic latte. In essence, our universe is not purely black, but a shade closer to a milky coffee. The night sky may appear black due to the absence of light in the voids between stars and galaxies. But the universe as a whole, in its vast and mind-boggling scale, is a cosmic blend of colors, with cosmic latte being the average. But how do we perceive the color of the universe? Well, our human eyes are designed to perceive color based on the wavelength of light. We see colors because of a process called refraction, where light waves pass through the eye's cornea and lens, and are then absorbed by light-sensitive cells in the retina at the back of the eye. These cells, known as cones, respond to different wavelengths of light, which our brains then interpret as different colors. Now when we gaze upon the night sky we're looking at cosmic objects that are unfathomably distant. The light from these objects has traveled across vast expanses of space, and the journey it takes greatly affects how we perceive its color. This is due to a phenomenon known as redshift. As the universe expands, light from distant objects gets stretched into longer wavelengths. This means that by the time it reaches us, the light has shifted towards the red end of the spectrum, which can alter our color perception. But what if our eyes aren't powerful enough to see these distant objects? That's where telescopes come in. Telescopes act as giant eyes, collecting more light than our human eyes could ever manage. Some of these telescopes, like the Hubble Space Telescope, even operate outside our Earth's atmosphere, avoiding the distortion caused by our atmosphere and providing clearer, more detailed images. However, the raw images captured by telescopes aren't always in color. They're often in black and white, and the colors we associate with celestial bodies are added later using color-enhancing technology. This technology assigns colors to different wavelengths of light, often those beyond the visible spectrum like infrared or ultraviolet. So when you see a vibrant image of a nebula or galaxy, remember, it's not exactly what you'd see if you were out there in space. Our perception of the universe's color is a fascinating blend of physics, biology, and technology. 
It's a testament to our ever-evolving understanding of the universe and the ingenious ways we've developed to explore and appreciate its beauty. What if the universe was a different color? Now that's a thought to ponder. Imagine for a moment a universe bathed in white. It's a stark contrast to the familiar black canvas we're accustomed to, isn't it? But what would this mean for us and our understanding of the cosmos? Firstly, our perception of space and celestial bodies would be dramatically altered. Stars, galaxies, nebulae, the fundamental building blocks of the universe as we know it, would appear vastly different. The radiance of stars, for instance, would lose its luster against a white backdrop, their brilliance dimmed. The ethereal beauty of nebulae with their vibrant hues would be washed out, their mystique fading into the white expanse. Next, let's consider the role of color in the study of astronomy and astrophysics. Color isn't just a visual delight. It's a scientific tool. Astronomers use color to determine the temperature, age, and composition of stars. The colors of galaxies can hint at their evolutionary stages. In a white universe, this color-based analysis would be significantly impeded, requiring us to rethink our methods and techniques. But it's not just about the practical implications. A shift in the universe's color could challenge some of our fundamental theories and assumptions. For instance, the color of the universe is black, due to the absence of light in the vast voids of space. If the universe were white, it would imply a constant presence of light, contradicting our current understanding of light's behavior and distribution in the universe. Furthermore, a shift in color could hint at different physical properties, or even different laws of physics. The universe's blackness is tied to its current physical properties, its temperature, density, and the distribution of matter. A white universe could imply a different set of properties, potentially forcing us to rewrite our understanding of cosmology. So, a change in the universe's color is not just a matter of aesthetics, it's a shift that could shake the very foundations of our understanding of the cosmos. A change in the universe's color could potentially rewrite our understanding of the cosmos. So, what have we learned about the color of the universe? We've embarked on an incredible journey delving into the captivating question of the universe's color. We've explored the scientific principles behind the color of space, the role of human perception, and the fascinating concept of viewing the universe in different colors. In our exploration of the science of space color, we've learned that the color of the universe isn't as simple as black or white. It's a complex interplay of light, matter, and energy. The universe isn't just one color. It's a tapestry of colors a result of the intermingling of light from countless stars, galaxies, and other celestial bodies. This light, when observed from Earth, results in the vast cosmic backdrop we are familiar with. We've also delved into the realm of human perception, understanding that how we perceive color is a result of biology and evolution. Our eyes, adapted to the conditions on Earth, perceive the universe as predominantly black due to the vast distances and low light levels. However, if we had eyes like a mantis shrimp capable of seeing a wider range of the electromagnetic spectrum, our perception of the universe would be drastically different. Our journey didn't stop there. We also imagined what the universe might look like in different colors. We explored the concept of false color images used by astronomers to reveal aspects of the universe not visible to the naked eye. These images, created by assigning colors to different wavelengths of light, showcase the universe in a new and vibrant light, revealing the hidden structures and processes at work. However, our understanding of the universe's color doesn't end here. The color of the universe continues to be a subject of ongoing research. Scientists are still trying to answer questions about the universe's average color, dubbed the cosmic latte, and how this color might change over time as the universe evolves. In addition, the discovery of cosmic phenomena like dark matter and dark energy, which do not emit light and hence do not contribute to the color of the universe as we perceive it, poses new questions for researchers. What impact might these unseen aspects of the universe have on our understanding of its color? So even though we've learned a lot today, the exploration doesn't stop here. The universe, with its vast expanse and myriad mysteries, continues to beckon scientists, astronomers, and curious minds alike. Each new discovery adds another piece to the puzzle, another stroke to the cosmic canvas, and another hue to the universal palette. While the universe may appear black to the naked eye, it's actually a cosmic latte filled with a spectrum of colors waiting to be discovered. So, let's keep looking up, keep questioning, and keep exploring. After all, the universe is a masterpiece in progress, and we're lucky enough to have front row seats to the greatest show in existence.